Unfortunately, there weren't many goal mouth incidents. Uh, despite that, there were two very good goals. Obviously, a free kick from Queensland, and then Alvin Checkley scored a, a great strike. Um, uh, you know, to bring us back into it. Second half on our on our behalf was a little bit better, but again, not many goal health, uh, goal goal mouth action, um, which was a bit disappointing for the crowd. Just looking at the goals here again, Spasadelevski with the first, his free kick went under the wall. And it was 1-0 after 15 minutes. And then Alvin Checkley produced a stunning strike here on the stroke of halftime. And that's how it finished. One all at Aussie Stadium in front of another good crowd, it looks like, uh, David. About 17,000, I heard. And uh, you said it was a scrappy affair. We saw the match. And it wasn't great. But for some reason, they just keep coming back. Another good showing there. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, l last year we had great support, and that's uh, that's a credit to our fans. They, they really get behind us. Uh, you know, uh, we've had a we've had a tough start to to the season, but despite that, we're equal second. Um, again, today, like I said, we would have liked to have played played better. Uh, it would have been better if the conditions were also a little bit better. But as, like I said, it was a very windy game, and, and and it made it very difficult to get any any real chances. I don't think there were many chances in the game from either side. So. Um, but despite that, the fans keep coming back and, uh, you know, I, I can tell you the players are very uh, grateful for that. Yeah, it's probably a triumph of marketing as well for A-League people. It's been great to see the big crowds at the A-League. What about uh, the play today, a little bit more specifically, not just the conditions, David? I mean, what do you put it down to? Because there was a lot of long ball, there was a very few moves coming out of midfield from you guys. Carboni didn't seem as influential as he was in Adelaide. So why the sudden shift in form today? Is it just the weather or is there more to it? No, I don't think there was, was too much to it. We didn't play as good as we played uh, or as well as we played last week in Adelaide. Um, all credit to Queensland. They, 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 they sat back. They pressed us when we had the ball. They didn't give us any time um, when we did get the ball in midfield, which is normally our strength. Um, and last week we played the ball away, uh, around very well. We didn't do it this week, and uh, all credit to Queensland. They didn't let us play. Uh, they made it very difficult for us to, to get onto the ball, and, uh, and obviously Carboni was shot out as well. But uh, well, he's a great player. He showed it last week, and he'll show it in the coming weeks as well. Well, in case you don't know, uh, David, it's still nil all between the uh, Newcastle Jets and Melbourne Victory. So they're threatening to go nine points clear if they can beat the Jets today. A huge gap already, but... Uh, what do you make of the way things are panning out in the A-League? There's already a big gap as well between those at the top and those at the bottom. Exactly. It's, a, you know, it's amazing how, um, how Melbourne have uh, you know, struck, struck a, a great uh, run and you know, they've won all their games. Um, the Queensland have played very well. Uh, you know, we, we've had, like I said, we didn't have the best start, but we're up there you know, also. Um, but you know, it's, it's probably unfortunate there is such a gap there. We, you know, you want an even competition. I think, bar, bar New Zealand last time uh, last year, uh, I think all teams are very close. Uh, this se this season, it seems there's only about five teams that uh, you know that are up there, and the other teams have, have have a lot of work to do. So, you know, but but from our point of view, we're just concentrating on ourselves. We want to be up there. We want to make sure that we chase uh, Melbourne down. We've got them in two weeks, and that's what we'll be uh, concentrating on. OK, well, thank you very much, uh, David, and uh, good to see you. So we'll talk to you again soon here, hopefully, on the World Game. Thanks, Andrew.